Time to tighten up those tennis shoes for day one of the NSIC Outdoor Track and Field Championships from Bismarck. While a comfortable wind kept the athletes cool, it was the merry women who started off hot. Melissa Walker won the long jump on this preliminary try of 18 feet 8 inches. Mary's Miranda Fahili took top honors in the pole vault with a height of 11 feet 10 inches. <laughs> Vanessa Freestead closed out Mary's 51 and a half point total with a javelin throw of 130 feet, 2 inches. Augustana's Katie Goosey put a little bounce in the Vikings' step today with this first place jump of 5 feet, 5 and 3 quarter inches. The Vikings finished the day in second with 44 points. On to the men's competition where a 1-2 finish by Mankato in the pole vault helped propel the Mavericks to 83 points and first place on the day. Dan Novak turned in the top mark with this vault of 16 feet 2 inches. <laughs> Teammate Tandy Jewell tied with Mary's Marshall Freiberger for second place with identical bests of 15 feet 8 and a quarter inches. The gutsiest performance of the day came from Minnesota State University Moorhead's Laquan Robinson. The injured yes. Robinson jumped to a first place finish of 23 feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches, helping the Dragons to 61 points and a second place finish after day one. Woo! Nice job. Mary's Brent Pelt helped his Marauders finish third with this throw of 177 feet 11 inches. But just moments later, Augustana's Dylan Bueller stole the show with this first place toss of 185 feet 8 inches. The 10K run put an end to the day's events, but also slid Augustana into fourth place thanks to the performance of Paul Yak. Yak finished with a time of 32 minutes, 32.02 seconds. Minnesota State Mankato's Garrett Eklaw finished second, and St. Cloud State's Kyle Newman took third. From the NSIC Track and Field Championships in Bismarck, North Dakota, I'm Tom Ackerman reporting.